As we approach the Season 4 World Championship, one composition has risen above to be one of the most consistent and powerful compositions in the game, largely due to its versatility, reliability, and lack of a major weakness, and that is the Oriana Ball Delivery Teamfight Composition. This is Pro Team Comps Explained. The Oriana Ball Composition is a teamfight based comp that focuses on the raw power of Orianna's ultimate as well as the synergy it has with a good number of champions due to Command Protect. It results in a team with strong laners and amazing teamfight potential due to some AoE wombo combos that when played correctly can destroy multiple key targets or even entire teams. And it's actually one of the best comps in the game to play at lower levels of play since players do not really avoid bunching up too well at that level. And in addition, this comp can be built in a way to lack major weaknesses, unlike some other team compositions, which is why it has so much success at even the highest levels of play. In building this comp, it's obviously quite important to pick Oriana. Whether or not you want to first pick her is up to you, but it is fairly recommended to pick her up in at least your first few picks. In addition, you want to pick a jungler that can synergize well with the Oriana Ball ultimate combo by being able to jump in onto priority targets. Rengar is by far the best choice because his stealth is amazing for being able to surprise out opponents, but champions such as Vi or Nocturne if you really want to cement the Oriana focus, or if you want to be a bit more versatile, you can really just pick any jungler who is strong at ganking lanes, gap closing, and jumping on opponents. As for your lanes, you're going to want to pick strong laners, with a slight focus on AoE crowd control. Picking laners that your team is good at and can win lane is the most important thing, but doing it with a focus on champions who can follow up a good Orion ultimate is the best thing to do. And the AD carry is going to be the only champion that won't be able to do that, and so I would recommend picking a strong auto attack hyper carry since the Oriana initiation set up such a strong front line. As for your bans, there's actually not too much to worry about, as there are no specific champions who counter this comp as a whole. What you want to do instead is ban champions that your players are not comfortable laning against, especially your Orianna player, and just do your best to ban for good matchups, such as the really strong champions that you aren't going to play. Now, for playing this composition, if the pick and ban phase went well, you should have decent lanes, to where you can play out the laning phase fairly normally. Once Oriana and your jungler hit level 6, you should look to snowball through ganks with massive ultimate synergy. This is why it's best for the jungler to be the one to deliver the ball. That way you can pull off some really easy ganks to get Oriana fed. Even if you lose lane as Oriana, you're still going to be quite strong due to the power of your ultimate, which is a big part of what makes this comp so playable. For team fighting, you just want to play to the synergy of this composition. Have your gap closer go in with the ball, hit the Oriana ultimate on one or more key targets for a quick burst onto them, and then just follow that up with more AoE. The key here is that your team must be the ones to initiate. Although you can kite well and disengage too, if the opponents are the ones initiating onto you, it will be very difficult to land a good Oriana ultimate and follow up on it. So group often and look for those kinds of plays, as usually you will be able to cover quite a large distance so you can easily catch opponents off guard. Just watch out for the range of the Oriana Ball and the dreaded Sombrero Ultimate. Now, there are no general weaknesses for this comp since the champion picks can vary so much while still having strong lanes, but when playing against this composition, you want to first look for weaknesses in specific champions, as well as look for a mid lane focus during the laning phase, as although if Oriana loses lane, she is still strong, if she wins lane, she can almost solo carry the entire game. So you have to make sure not that Oriana loses lane, but that she does not win lane, and as such, early game junglers can be pretty powerful versus this comp. And during teamfights, you need to either get the jump on your opponents by grouping up and initiating before they do, or you can forgo it entirely and just split push. While although split pushing won't always work versus coordinated teams, the comp is likely to not have a strong duelist or strong wave clear other than Oriana, so you can potentially pressure through splitting. And that's just about it. My name is Jeremy, and this is Pro Team Comps Explained. Let me know what other comps you'd like to see in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the screen right now, or stay connected at facebook.com slash gamingcurios. Drop a like, share this video, and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching,
and I'll see you guys next time.